What's up, guys? I'm Lisa Foyles. I'm so excited to be here on GameSpot and to welcome you to Analog, a new weekly show that's here to help you out. So I'm sure you know the feeling. You find an amazing game that completely sucks you in for days and weeks, and then it's over. It's just over, and you're left with this empty hole in your heart, and you need more game. Well, good news. I'm here to fill your hole. Today we're talking Titanfall, the amazing multiplayer experience for the Xbox One, 360, and PC that rodeoed the gaming industry with insanely fun combat, parkouring, and giant battling mechs. What more could you possibly ask for? Maybe your PC can barely run solitaire, maybe you don't have an Xbox, or maybe you've just played the crap out of it and need a change of pace. Either way, we've got you covered. Here are games similar to Titanfall. Damage. Take evasive action. A big downside of multiplayer on the Xbox is not only do you have to buy the game, but you also have to pay the monthly Xbox Live subscription fee just to play it online. This ends up being kind of a hefty price to see robots punch each other in the face. So how about a free-to-play option for your PC? Try Hawken. What makes Hawken like Titanfall? Well, for one, it's mechs battling mechs in glorious first-person multiplayer. Different mechs require different playstyles, with perks including jump jet fuel and active camo. These big bundles of bolts are actually quite agile, keeping the game pretty fast-paced, which is a much-loved element of Titanfall. And hey, it may not be realistic, but I would rather be a frolicking robot than a slow ATST getting taken down by a bunch of fuzzy Ewoks. Because that is just embarrassing. Here's what's different. It's free to play. You can spend real money on upgrades and such, but the game itself costs nothing. Plus, you get to spend more time inside your mech instead of calling one down from the sky only to climb in and get ambushed 10 seconds later. Titanfall was this huge blockbuster, so if the hype and the gimmicks of Titanfall make you roll your eyes, then you'll be happy to hear that Hawken is a more serious experience. I found that it takes a bit more focus, but don't let that scare you. Don't get sucked into the idea that Hawken is the hipster to Titanfall's bro, because they're both awesome, and playing Titanfall might actually make you appreciate Hawken more. Alright, say you ignored the taunting of Eric Cartman and stuck with Sony in the console war. The only problem is Titanfall is a Microsoft exclusive and now you feel like you're missing out. Well, if Starhawk for the PS3 got past you, you might want to give it another look. Starhawk is third person and, like Titanfall, has a multiplayer that lets you utilize mechs. Plus, it shares the same fun, fast pace. But this game gives you more for your money with a single player campaign set in an outer space frontier. It's got that space cowboy feel. These mechs, or hawks, let you fly, which is great for multiplayer, as are the added vehicles, you get hover bikes, jeeps, and tanks. Plus, you have this ability to call down buildings from the sky to act as barriers for tactical creativity. My only complaint is that the single-player campaign really does not prepare you at all for multiplayer. Uh, you pretty much just get shoved out of the nest and try not to get your head blown off. Lastly, if the parkouring in Titanfall really appealed to you, you know, running along rooftops and sprinting on the sides of walls, then you will love Mirror's Edge. No multiplayer, no mechs, no running and gunning, but that might be a desired change of pace. Mirror's Edge puts you in the first-person shoes of Faith, whose job it is to run sensitive documents from sender to receiver in an oppressed, corrupt world. No more flying by the seat of your pants like you do in Titanfall. Mirror's Edge is all about precision in a methodical trial and error experience. You pick up speed as you string together moves. It's this beautiful dance when you hit your stride and a frustrating choppy mess when you screw up. Which you will. A lot. There is combat, though not traditional FPS. With a perfectly timed button push, Faith extracts guns from the blues with head grabs, knees to the face, and karate chops. There are a lot of creative ways to take down enemies without ever firing a shot. It's a method of defense that seems to fit Faith's personality. You can kind of tell she's not really in this for a fight. Though, I bet if she had access to her own Titan, she would totally reconsider that. As for mech games, I would love to recommend the original Steel Battalion just to make you hunt down that massive 40-button controller. But I will be nice, don't do that. Leave me a comment and let me know which games you think are similar to Titanfall, and now that it's been a few weeks, are you still playing it? Are you still hooked? Let us know and hit me up on Twitter, at LisaFoils, and I will see you next week for another episode of Analog. Rodeo on.